How's it going star seekers? My name's Luke and welcome back to the channel for another indie game review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Stealth, a minimalistic stealth action game which features gameplay elements similar to those found in the Metal Gear Solid VR missions. Stealth's levels see you working your way past enemy patrols and security cameras, utilising both your wits and a number of different power-ups at your disposal. But do Stealth's gameplay mechanics have enough depth to keep you interested and is it worth your cash? Let's get into this review and find out. So Stealth kicks things off with a short tutorial teaching you the basics, and both the controls and gameplay mechanics are as simple as they come. We play as this little yellow dot which we move around with a left analogue stick, and the game can be played in one or two player mode, with each player only requiring a single Joy-Con in order to participate. Now our objective in each of Stealth's levels is to collect three stars hidden throughout the level. We do this by simply walking over them, but between us and the stars stands an army of highly trained black dots, or guards. Luckily we have the ability to see the line of sight of each guard, and we're able to exploit both this and their predetermined patrol patterns to sneak past them. Getting caught within this line of sight will however alert all guards in the level, who will quickly close in on you and you'll fail the level if they catch up to you. It is possible to sometimes escape pursuing guards, but this is pretty hard to do as they move faster than you and there are usually multiple guards approaching from different directions. Now while stealth is usually the preferred option, there are times when sneaking past the security forces just isn't an option, so then it's time to use some good old lethal force. By sneaking up behind guards and keeping close to them for a few seconds, you can snap the little necks and disable them. After this, you're able to drag the little red dot, and you'll usually want to hide it away from other guards, because if another guard spots a body, they'll once more alert all guards in the level and they'll begin searching for you. Sometimes this can be used to your advantage to pull guards away from an area that you need to gain access to, but there is a downside to this as guard movement patterns become unpredictable and they never return to their original patrol patterns which can be a little annoying at times. Now to help you get through levels undetected, you do have a few different abilities at your disposal. Collecting these white pentagons which are placed at random each time you start a level will grant you a single charge that can be spent on one of two abilities, each of which lasts for around 5 seconds. The first of these is the path ability which draws lines depicting the patrol patterns of guards and it can be quite useful at times though it doesn't show the direction in which guards will turn. The second of the two abilities is called map which basically zooms out the game's camera, allowing you to see much more of the level, which can be very useful for finding the location of stars. Now in addition to these two abilities, around 10 levels in you'll also begin to see sound bomb pickups appearing in levels, and after planting one of these, you'll have a few seconds before they detonate, releasing a sound wave which will attract nearby guards. Sound bombs are occasionally useful if you're struggling to get past certain patrols, but in general I didn't really need to use them all that often. So in total, Stealth contains 100 levels for you to work your way through, which offers a decent amount of content for the price of the game, however after playing about 30 of them, I found the core gameplay mechanics started to wear a little thin, and in all honesty, I did start to get a little bored of the game. Around 15 levels in you encounter your first set of security cameras whose small corner of vision pans back and forth, but after this level you don't actually encounter them again until you reach level 31, and there are no new gameplay mechanics introduced in this time to keep things interesting. Further on in the game you do start to encounter things like hostages and security doors which require keys carried by guards to open, but I'd really lost interest in the game by that time, and as with other games I've played which boast hundreds of levels, to me stealth felt like another case of quantity over quality. Now this isn't to say that the game is terrible, I'm quite sure that plenty of people will be completely happy casually working their way through the levels, but I personally felt like the developers should have introduced additional gameplay mechanics sooner and reduced the number of levels instead putting their efforts into making each level feel unique and challenging in its own way. As it stands, there's very little to distinguish one level from the other and it feels like there hasn't been much thought put into the structure of them or their objectives. 
Instead of feeling like actual building layouts, levels feel like abstract mazes with shapes and walls dotted about the place, and the placements of guards and the patrol patterns just don't feel purposeful. Now difficulty wise, at times stealth can offer a reasonable challenge, though this generally just comes down to how well you can memorise and exploit guard movement patterns. The problem is that as soon as you're spotted or guards spot a body, any structured challenge goes out the window and then you've just got to think on the fly, avoiding or taking down guards where and when you can. I can't really say that I struggled much from one level to the next and I didn't notice any real difficulty spikes throughout my time playing. Now when it comes to issues that I found with the game, there were a few times where enemies failed to react when I entered the corner of vision, and there is one major exploit that I found after about 20 minutes of playing, which literally meant that if I wanted to, I could complete any level without any of the guards spotting me. I will however leave you guys to work out that one on your own. So as you can see from the footage, when it comes to visuals, there really isn't an awful lot to comment on. I thought the minimalistic approach was fine, though the odd colour palette swap would have been nice just for a bit of variety, and audio wise things are also kept to a minimum, with a few simple sound effects, and 3 or 4 music tracks which are selected at random each time you begin a level. In terms of replayability, each level does track how long you've taken to complete it and reward you with a score based on how well you performed, but beyond replaying levels to beat these scores, there really doesn't seem to be any reason to go back to the game after you've completed it. Overall, I think that if I could sum up stealth in one word, that word would be simple. It has simple gameplay mechanics, simple visuals and audio, and I think there are simply too many levels for it to offer a meaningful and memorable gameplay experience. For a rating, I'm going to be giving stealth 3 out of 5 stars. If you're looking for a casual game to fill a few minutes at a time, then Stealth might be something for you to consider picking up. You can get Stealth from the UK Switch eShop for £5.19p, or from the US eShop for $7.19. And that's about it for this review of Stealth on the Nintendo Switch. If it helps you out, make sure to drop it a like, let me know your thoughts on the game and the review in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I upload new Nintendo Switch reviews and content every few days. For now though, I want to thank you all once again for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves, and game on.